Well, Bill, how'd you, how'd you get to this point today? It was a lot of work, uh, specifically with, uh, with Liam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look, our conversations with Liam started uh, at the World Cup. So my family and I were in town to watch the games, and uh, Jean-Michel and OL had been speaking with the NWSL now for probably a year, sort of informally, about the possibility of an expansion team. So I think they knew they wanted to do something with the NWSL. They just hadn't really decided what it was. So uh, happened to be in town. The league knew I was there, asked me to brief OL on the league. So myself and a representative from the Utah Royals went out and just going to give them the 101 on, uh, on the NWSL. And you know, maybe a month after that, got a phone call from uh, a representative of OL and just asked if we had any interest in, in selling the team. And, uh, you know, as it turned out, it sort of coincided with this realization that Teresa and I had had that uh, it was probably time to find an organization that could, you know, could, could build upon what we've done in the past. They have serious cred and also cred with women's soccer in particular. Yeah. Um, what do you think their addition and entry into this market is going to mean for this franchise? Yeah, I mean, look, I think it's going to be, for me, I believe it's going to be incredible. So they've got a m massive, the longest track record of investment in women's sports. So I think John michelle saw an opportunity with women's professional soccer before anybody else did. So he's made those investments. He's got a very long-term you know, horizon for seeing those investments have a return. So. I am excited to learn from, uh, you know, from him all the things that he's done over the years that uh, it's probably made a million mistakes, right? We can easily learn from those and, and that's going to that's gonna help us move the club forward. So, you know, I think from a collaboration between the clubs, I think there's probably an opportunity to have players that we might not otherwise have had an opportunity to bring to Seattle um, or to the region. Uh, I think that's going to be a possibility as well. So and it, lots of big things ahead, I think. Bigger budgets, bigger... Uh training staffs, I mean, that kind of stuff? I mean, I think yes to, to all of that, right? That the, the league made some changes to the compensation model in the off season that allows us to make bigger investments in players. So I, I think A, we'll have both the capacity to make those investments that we might not have had in the past, but um, in additionally, we'll have access to players in Europe that I think we'll, um, we'll find it easier to, to bring them to the States with um, you know, with the backing of OL, right? I think they have established, you know, as much credibility as any any club would ever need, and I think there will be a trust in OL to you know to take a chance and maybe come over and play in the states. And part of this deal is to keep the team in in Cheney Stadium, keep it in Tacoma, and, and be a part of that new stadium. Yeah, I mean, look, I think we're super excited about coming back here. So I think last season was a. <laughs> Sort of transformative experience for our fans. I think what we were able to offer in the stadium was, um, you know, just far beyond what was possible inside of Memorial Stadium. So uh, we're committed to here for a couple of years, signed a lease. So, um, yeah, and again, excited to continue to be a part of the Tacoma community. And I think I heard in the in the press conference, the the logo, the colors, are not changing. The name's not changing. Uh, I, I would not say that that is accurate. So uh, I, I think right now it's too early to tell what will happen with the brand, right? That we've uh, sort of been saying this is, this is day one. And so, um, you know, I think everybody has some level of sort of reverence for the, the, the Rain FC brand and appreciation for what it is. But, um, you know, I do think there's opportunities to look at, you know, what does that combination look like? And maybe that finds itself expressed in, in the identity. I think we just have to kind of wait and see. <laughs> Uh, I mean, your emotions on a day like today. I mean, can you sum it up? Yeah, I mean, it was look. It was a it was an exciting and, and a, you know, an emotional day for me. That um, you know, I I have loved being a part of the organization. I think it has been um, fulfilling in a way that was sort of entirely unexpected. I think the opportunity to work with the players in particular was just not something that. Um, I could imagine I would have enjoyed as you know as much as I have. So, you know, on one hand, it was it was hard to have that change because I've loved it so much. But on the other hand, I knew it was something that had to happen and believed deeply that 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 OL is that that right next door for the team. That um, again, I truly cannot think of a you know better organization to 
to build upon what we've done, and I'm excited to work with them over the next few years to see what we can do together.